Everything appeared perfectly normal as American Airlines Flight 2332 pushed back from the gate in Dallas this morning. But things quickly changed. One of the girls was saying that we were going to do, we were going, we were going to take off, and the other were keep telling that we were going back to the gate. At first, we th I thought the flight attendant was joking around because she was saying things about the flight going to crash and it wasn't safe to take off. No, 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 don't do that. It was an episode which passengers said grew more and more bizarre by the minute as a senior flight attendant became more and more agitated, warning them they were all in danger. She spoke in and out of Spanish, uh, talked about uh, the flight crashing, that we were going to go back to the gate. And it was not until she said, well, I'm not responsible when this plane crashes, that everyone started freaking out. Get out of my way! As passengers snapped cell phone video, fellow flight attendants and then other passengers attempted to subdue the woman. I see that her and the pilot are like trying to wrestle her, you know, like, the, I don't know, she was trying to wrestle the intercom out of her hand. Grab your arms. Um, there were about four of us, I guess five of us, including the flight attendants, uh, who actually sat her back down in my seat. This man, Brad LeClaire, called 911. She claimed when we were holding her, we I tried to talk her down and calm her down a little bit. Um, she said she was bipolar. The aircraft returned to its Dallas gate, where the woman and a second flight attendant who was injured were removed to Dallas's Parkland Hospital. When they were pulling her out, she clearly was not wanting to get into the police car and just was just fighting. It was sad. I mean, it was, it was very, very sad.